Hey, this is Tony Boss Bowling coming to you from the Lincoln Attic Podcast. Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, a.k.a. the Lincoln Attic, coming at you with a new episode of Lincoln Attic Podcast. Thanks for everyone that has followed or subscribed via any podcast app, including go out on YouTube. I've been trying to ramp up and post more content on the YouTube page. More on that later. Now, want to uh, say again, thanks to everyone that continues to come back here and listen. Uh, last episode, I did talk a little bit about the fact that I want to go to like seasons. Uh, many podcasts that you may listen to, you're probably familiar with how seasons work. You basically do several episodes, you know, depends, whatever number you want, and then you take a break. And because I haven't really been able to hit a stride with continued, you know, week or bi-weekly episodes, that's what I'm going to go to. So this will kick off season one. And uh, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about who we're going to have on this episode. But first, I want to thank Devious Customs, Jeff and team at DeviousCustoms.com for the continued support. Uh, remember, you can go to DeviousCustoms.com and place an order for all sorts of different products for these Lincoln cars. And some of the items are obviously for more of the purists. When you go to DeviousCustoms.com, you can actually go down to Shop Lincolns, and it will show you pretty much everything that they make uh, for these you can actually, uh, he even has windshields on there for the 66 to 69 Lincolns. He's got uh, subwoofer enclosures for 6465 suspension kits. Uh, the Devco complete door panels, billet, pedal set, and so much more. But go out to DeviousCustoms.com. And one of my favorite items are the different Lincoln Continental billet switch panels that he's making for different year cars. If you're old pot metal switch panels in each of the doors are nasty. Maybe you've been thinking about getting them re-chromed. Well, they're made of pot metal. You can go out and you can check out these different control units and upgrade to the modern switches if you don't want to keep the OG stuff. So it's got a lot of cool stuff out there. Just go to deviouscustoms.com. Okay, on this episode, we have Rusty Wall, one of the head raddies. We've had him on before. He's a great dude. We'll talk to him shortly. And uh, he and the crew under the Raddies, including Roberto, they're having their annual event go down right now in California. So depending on when you're listening to this, if you're kind of an early listener, uh, just go out on Instagram, follow the Raddies, R-A-T-T-Y-S, and you'll get a chance to see a glimpse into their world. Last year, they had a lot of Lincolns together. This year's, I don't think it's going to be any different. There's going to be a gang of people out there. Tony Boss Bolin and his girl, Danielle, they flew out. They've been sending me photos, and I'm going, dude, why didn't I make the trip? So I kind of hee-hauled back and forth. I was supposed to go up to Tennessee for a truck show and uh, going to stay back. Had to work Friday, taking care of some stuff with Mom Dukes, and um, you know, just got a few things going on. Of course, a storm's coming to Florida Knock on wood, it looks like it's going to be more of a tropical storm. So no stranger to those living here my whole life. But uh, rest assured, they're raddies. Everyone be safe out there. Can't wait to see the videos and the photos from that awesome crew. So Rusty Wall will uh, join the show here just in a little bit. Now, I also want to uh, give a huge shout out to Steel Rubber. We've had Steel Rubber on this podcast. And I'll tell you, out of all of the products available for Lincoln's, this is one of the best products that you'll invest in. It's going to help add value to your vehicle, but it's also going to help seal it up from the wind noise and help keep the elements out. Steel Rubber, that's S-T-E-E-L-E, rubber.com. When you go out there, you can go and uh, you can request a free catalog. Uh, you go to catalogs, and uh, you'll see that they even have on-demand catalogs and so on and so forth. They'll mail you one for free. My suggestion, create a spreadsheet, figure out what you need. If you've got a 61 to 69 Lincoln, there's a lot of items. Figure out what your budget is and start buying what you need, and uh, they'll, get you, uh, they'll get you squared away. But it's steel, S-T-E-E-L-E, rubber.com. Huge shout out to the great fam over there. So the previous episode recap, man, we had Ran on. And uh, that episode, Coops on the Rise, that tied into the fact that he had 
one of arguably one of the coolest uh, customized coupes that I've ever seen. Go back, check out the episode. Now, it's been a little bit since I posted this new one, but if you want to go back and check it out, uh, we talk about his coupe. I'll give the normal Lincoln updates, but his coupe was awesome, man. And you'll hear that like the rear wheel has such an, a lip, that offset, that I actually thought that the, the rear end was narrowed. But again, uh, thanks so much to him for coming on. A uh, really fun episode. Besides that episode, that was episode 17, there are 16 other episodes before that. So I've heard from some of you, and you've said you've went back and kind of re-listened to them as you're uh, diving more or learning more about these cars. And um, you know, going back to the very beginning, I mean, I have a true vision for this whole podcast with some really cool guests. Really, it's just carving out the time. And um, I've talked to some of those people about coming on this season one now as we kick it off. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. And we'll continue to see the numbers stay on the rise, of course. And, uh, you know, just keep it posted here. As we grow, you can follow us if you download Podbean. That's on Android or iPhone. That's who hosts the podcast. So essentially, you can go back and listen to all of the episodes there as we grow. But typically, the Apple podcast app is what many use and you can go back pretty far I think 50 to 100 episodes so um, you know however you listen please continue to do that and again consider subscribing to our YouTube channel go on YouTube and type in Lincoln Addict now of course on this episode I'm going to go through the normal updates like I've already been doing and I mentioned we'll have Rusty Wall on I do want to also give another shout out to Colorado Custom uh, Colorado Custom Wheels manufactures those wheels that are kind of the Lincoln replica wheels. It looks a lot like the original hubcap. They're innovators. They've been around for going on, give or take, 30 years. We've had Michael and team on the other podcast I do. That's our lifestyle podcast. And they are a family-owned business, and they do some amazing stuff. If you're looking for wheels, a rearview mirror, a billet steering wheel like we've seen them make for the Lincolns, go reach out to them. It's Colorado Custom, with no S, coloradocustom.com. They're on Instagram, they're on Facebook, they're on the rise, and they're a great company. I have a set of wheels that's going on my 64. Can't wait to get those on there and get that car a little bit lower. All right, so the Lincoln Life updates. Uh, Wanted to just kind of reinforce a couple of products that I have available. If you want to reach out to me, it's lincolnatticpodcast at gmail.com. You can send me an email. Now, some of these I'll have active on our website, and some of the items I kind of keep on a uh, uh, a need-to-order basis. So someone might reach out and go, hey, I need a set of these, and I'll go ahead and add one to the website and let them buy those. But um, I try to regulate it so that I don't get too many orders at one time, but Uh, There's a few things I have available. So the website for my other podcast, where I kind of keep everything from a store perspective, is rlifestylepodcast.com. If you, on the left side, go to products and then select Lincoln Addict, you're going to see that I have stickers. Uh, The blue ones are available, and the blue stickers are $5, and it's my Lincoln Continental sitting on Colorado Custom Wheels. So that's the official Lincoln Attic logo and sticker. I also have the 1964 Lincoln Continental Dealers Service Policy Cards. They're only $10. They're blue, nearly identical to the original in terms of color. These were scanned from an original that I have. Now, I know some of you are going, hey, I don't have a 64. If you are looking for a different year, say you've got a 63, 62, whatever, and you want one that looks just like this with a different year, please email me, lincolnatticpodcast at gmail.com. I'm going to be placing an order soon with my supplier, and what I'd like to do is gauge some interest. They're super cheap. You could put it in your glove box. You could put it in a little you know, uh, clear deal, whatever you want to do. But uh, if you want to display this with your car or just have it, um, you know, it's, it's um, you know, fairly... Uh, nicely priced, and that'll allow for you if you want to fill it out or whatever you want to do. Uh, but this was kind of something cool. I had an original one, and I wanted to reproduce those, and that's what I did. So we got the stickers for five. We've got the uh, service policy for ten. The big thing that we have is the sixty-four and sixty-five Lincoln Continental rear bumper inserts. These are made out of billet aluminum. 
with super strong 3M tape on the backside, okay? These allow for you to take off those uh, bumper inserts on 6465 that are bolted on, clean that surface real nicely, peel the tape, boom, stick it on. These will not come off. Some of my friends have had these on their car well over 10 years with no issues. The 65 set is a little bit more expensive because the grooves are machined into the billet. You can leave them polished or you can have a pinstriper go and paint those black lines on those billet inserts. 64 is a little bit different. Those are stickers that go on the blanks, if you will, that go uh, for the bumper inserts. So if you've got a bumper insert that's maybe roached out, it's dented up, you've lost them, you want to replace them, whatever, instead of going to the usual suspects and paying a lot of money for an original that's not damaged, you can get these billet inserts, okay? For 64, you can leave them totally flat and polished or do what I did. You can pay a little bit more and get the sticker kits. I have a few more of these kits left. You can choose to apply those stickers to the billet or do what I did, have a professional do it. One of my friends, he deals with vinyl at Graphics Mafia, and he does this stuff all day, okay? I saw all of those little squares, and I was like, I'm going to mess this up, okay? I'm too OCD. Ryan over at Graphics Mafia, he took those sticker kits, and he applied them perfectly on the set that's on my 64, Again, 65, you don't have to worry about this because they come machined and you can paint those lines black or leave them polished with a nice look. I did do a video, so I mentioned earlier, YouTube. If you go to YouTube and you type in Lincoln Addict, you'll see that I posted a video. There's not a lot out there, but there are some. I posted a video where I basically show how I install the bumper inserts on the car. Now, the stickers were already applied by Ryan at Graphics Mafia. That made it super simple. I wouldn't suggest sticking them on and then trying to put the stickers on. I would put the stickers on the billet inserts, then peel the tape and stick the billet inserts on the bumper. They look awesome. There's no dents and made life easy. But if you want to check them out, it's ourlifestylepodcast.com. On the left side, select Lincoln Addict from the drop-down arrow. Those are a couple of product offerings that I have now, and I'm working on more stuff. So stay tuned to Lincoln Attic Podcast for more updates in the future. All right, next, I got Lincoln Sales. So I think on the last episode, I kind of talked about how sometimes I'll talk about maybe a car that I'm helping sell, or I'll talk about just what I'm seeing as trends in the market related to these cars that we all love or hate, right? So the one thing I'll talk about this segment is a guy's car that I saw almost six years ago at SEMA 2015. His name's Dale. And I woke up the other day and I was on eBay and I checked out that Dale was selling his 63, which he has affectionately called or referred to as or dubbed, not JFKs, okay? It's N-O-T underscore J-F-K with an S, so not J-F-K's on Instagram. That's Dale's official Instagram. Now, he owned for a very long time an interior shop. I think it was maybe, I forget if it was second generation, but he owned, they owned this place. That was their business for a long time. He retired and did a mic drop and just went out and he's doing his own thing. Retired, right? But his 63 that he debuted at SEMA 2015, that car, not JFK's, is now for sale. Okay, It's one of the nicest Lincoln Continentals I've ever seen from a resto mod perspective. Now, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea simply because it's not original. Totally understand that. But if you're looking for a custom Lincoln Continental, a resto mod, this is the car for you. If you have the funds, okay, this car is not cheap. It's an asking price of $160,000, okay? So some of you are going to freak out and go, yeah, that's a lot of money. It has the original Mel 430. 
It has a big set of wheels, a full custom interior, full stereo, top's been redone, engine's been pulled. Everything on this car has pretty much been gone through and totally done, all right? It was an AC car, if I remember correctly. Uh, the last photos I've seen of it, I don't think it had the AC compressor installed, but I don't. Th these could be older photos. There is a huge write-up on eBay about it, including suspension and drivetrain, interior, and so much more. Lots of details. All I can tell you is that this is one of the nicest Lincoln Resto mods I've seen. There's a bunch of them out there. This is a nice one. So even if you just want to check it out, you could go on eBay, type in 1963 Lincoln Continental, or on Instagram, look up N-O-T underscore J-F-K-S, not J-F-K's, or type in not J-F-K-S, not J-F-K's, and search. And that will bring up the hashtag on Instagram, and uh, you'll get a chance to see all of those photos, so not J-F-K's. It looks like... Uh, there's most of the photos I've posted with that hashtag, um, the majority of them. But, yeah, some different photos and stuff like that. Go check it out. And that includes uh, some really cool photos of it. So, really awesome. Red Lincoln, one of the nicest out there. It's for sale. And from a trend perspective, we'll have to see, does this help drive up a Resto Mod Lincoln? We've seen some go through the auction blocks where – you would think that they would sell for more, right? They have a Coyote motor. They have all this work. I talked about this on a past episode where there was one seller that had like this full resto mod Coyote swap, and then he had another really nice car that had the original Mel and the whatnot. And if I remember correctly, the car sold for like ten or 15000 within each other of a price. And what that kind of tells me is you basically have – people out there, they hit a certain number where they're like, you know what, I'm just not going to spend more than whatever, you know, in their head, it's, you know, 80, 100, 110,000, whatever, for this 50 plus year old car, even if it has a coyote motor and all these different things. So it'll be interesting to see what Dale's car eventually sells for if it's that 160, if it's close to it, because that might drive some of the prices up. But Rest assured, I know a lot of people always say, well, you know, I want to I wanna have a reliable car. I've said this many times before. Folks in the 50s and 60s got in their car and they drove it every day. Now, I'm not saying that they never broke down. I mean, there are some things that you might go, well, instead of running points on a car, why not get, you know, upgrade to electronic ignition? Okay. Well, instead of running, you know, some people are going to go, well, instead of running a carburetor, I'm going to get fuel injection. Well, instead of uh, upgrading to fuel injection, I'm going to change the motor. Like, I mean, it, it's an avalanche no matter which way you look at it, right? Because you can keep stair-stepping up, going bigger and badder. And I've got nothing against going with a Coyote motor or, dare I say, we've seen tons of people go, well, I want a reliable car, I'm going to LS swap. I've seen people break down with LS motors, right? It depends, right? I mean, any engine can break down. You can have any mechanical failure. You can have a fuel pump go out ascending you to go out, you know, all different sorts of things. But I would just caution, you know, don't think that if you put a hundred grand into your forty thousand dollar car or fifty thousand dollar car, that doesn't always translate to a sell of 150, 160 grand. In Dale's uh, example, I really think that the car is so nice and it's red and it has this bright color appeal to it. I do think maybe a sports athlete sports athlete would come along and go, you know what? Dude, that's chump change. I'll give you 150. I mean, I really do think this car is nice enough to, you know, draw in a high number. But what I'll do is I'll post the photo of the car in the Lincoln Addict Facebook group, and then we'll sound off. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think Dale is a lunatic and he shouldn't even offer, but, you know, or shouldn't even ask but half of that? Or do you think it's good for the market overall because it's going to drive the prices up? I have a feeling someone that's in the market for the car. They're going to say, hey, I want the prices to be lower. And, of course, some of us with our Lincolns and, and you know, different stages or resto modded, we're going to say, hey, get the money because it's going to drive the prices up. So, again, interesting. Dale, not JFKs. Check it out on Instagram. Uh, check out the hashtag or not underscore JFK with an S.
All right, so next up is Lincolns in the movies, TV shows, music videos, you name it. And this one, you may or may not have seen it, The Fugitive was a TV show back in the 60s. And if I understand correctly, that was what the spinoff of the Harrison Ford 90s movie was from. Big fan of that movie. I remember when it came out, I'd watch it all the time on HBO, it seemed like, once it went to regular TV, so to speak. But in the TV show, or the TV series, The Fugitive, from, again, 1963 to 67, episode uh, 19 of season 2 has a 64 Lincoln Continental. So pretty cool stuff. I love seeing uh, the Lincolns in the older movies and TV shows because, you know, there was a lot of elegance with these cars and um, just seeing one that's brand new, that's so probably low miles, that was either loaned to them or maybe it was someone on the set, the director, you know, they own the car. It's just freaking awesome to me. And uh, it it just never gets old seeing these old TV shows and, uh, you know, seeing these cars in these movies. So that's Lincoln's in the movies, TV shows, and music videos for this week. All right. So next, I normally would pr- provide updates on my 64 Lincoln Continental Project Smugglers Blues car that I love. Really not a lot has changed since the last episode. I did finish the kick panels, and I've done, I think, one video on Lincoln Attic Podcast, so more to come there. Um, So I'm going to keep working on the car throughout the end of the summer into the fall, so more updates in the future. Now, I do want to let everyone know that I had the opportunity recently. I was up in the Pittsburgh area, and anytime I'm up that way, I hit up my boy John Lyman at Stinkin' Lincoln. Now, John is no stranger to the podcast. He's been on before, and I do plan to have him on soon again. He has been wheeling and dealing, finding cool stuff, selling things, buying things, doing what he does every single day. His name comes up with Rusty Wall because he is a great supporter of the Raddies, and he's just a good dude. Um, I always enjoy stopping by his place. I'll talk more. Hopefully, the next episode we'll have John on, and then we'll talk more about Uh, I got a chance to hang out with one of his buddies and ride in his two Lincolns and got a chance to ride in uh, one of John's cars. So it was a lot of fun. You can check out the video that I did on Lincoln Attic Podcast via YouTube. So type in Lincoln Attic and you'll see the video. Um, I, I took some time on this one, had a chance to really walk around and check out everything that John has. He always lets me kind of go around and do what I want to do in terms of video And uh, certainly appreciate tip of the cap to him. Uh, He's got shirts, stickers, a few things like that. You can hit him up if you want to make a purchase. But Stinkin, S-T-I-N-K-I-N, Stinkin Lincoln. Again, we've had him on. You probably recall he has an awesome 64, a dark green color that's airbagged. But he has plenty of other cool stuff. Check him out, social media. He's on Facebook. He's on Instagram. He's very active on social media. And uh, he's just a good dude. So, That really is my Project Smugglers Blues updates this week because I wanted to reinforce, uh, always love hanging out with the homie, John at Stinkin' Lincoln. And with that being said, dude, the only shout out that I had this week is my homie Tony Boss Bolin, him and his girl Danielle, as I mentioned, they went out to Cali, going, going back, back to Cali, and he went back. Uh, He uh, has a new Instagram page, Death Row Lincoln's. So check out that if you're on Instagram. I don't think he has a, quote, Facebook page, but uh, he's been doing some cool stuff. He's been towing things. Um, He's just, you know, just always doing cool stuff. So with that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed this. Please consider, if you're on an iPhone, go to the Purple Pre-installed app, select Library, tap on Lincoln Addict, scroll down, and tap the five stars. It really um, helps. Tap the five stars if you want to go an extra mile. You can tap on write a review, and then you can tap in or write that review. And uh, I'll read those on a future episode. But, again, we're going to kick off, kind of restart, rejuvenate this podcast. I'm going to get myself in gear, damn it. And uh, I'm doing that here with uh, technically episode 18 for those scoring at home. But this is episode one of season one. I guess you could say it. I think I have to select that within the podcast uh, platform. 
but I'm, I'm excited to be here. There's a lot of you guys out there I want to talk to. There's a lot of passion in this whole Lincoln community. Um, John Cashman, the last thing I'll say, got a chance to talk to him recently. He loves the videos I've been doing. John had um, some uh, s- uh, a procedure done to his back, and he actually had it done today, which is the day I'm recording this on Friday, and uh, say a, a little prayer for John Cashman, the OG. Uh, he'll be fine. I think it was like a decompression-type back deal. Um, so I don't know a lot about that, but I just know that when I talked to him the other day, uh, he said he's been in a lot of pain the last six months. So hoping that the surgery goes well and that he can heal over the next month to two months and get back out there and just enjoying his retirement, which is important for all of us, including Mr. John Cashman. So tip of the cap to John, Teresa Blair, Tony Boss Bolin, Chris Dunn, all of the the great folks that live around here and that help us so much all the time. I'm looking forward to speaking with them here in the near future. So much love out there to the Lincoln life. All right, y'all. Lincoln Attic Podcast. It's ODB. Have a fun, safe weekend. Stay on the rise and keep those breakdowns to a minimum, damn it. Do that preventive maintenance as much as you can. We out here. Peace. Hey, hey, as I mentioned, we got the big homie, Rusty Wall. No stranger to Lincoln Attic Podcast. One of the raddiest dudes I've seen anywhere. Rusty, our dub, what's going down? What's up, bro? How you doing, Jason? How you doing back there? Dude, everything is good, man. How you doing? Good. Just uh, heading home from work and uh, getting stuff ready for Rat Fest this Saturday. Man, I'm excited to talk to you about it. I really am. We had you on before, and we talked a lot about the Raddies. I would highly encourage anyone go back. Uh, if you're on an iPhone, you should be able to go back to our 15 episodes or so. Go back, check out episode 14, The Raddies, featuring Rusty Wall. It talks a little bit about the legacy, the the infancy of The Raddies. But, dude, Rat Fest is, has grown. And my understanding was it kind of spun out of another show that, that was maybe um, impacted by COVID. Talk to us a little bit about how it started. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, there was a few shows out here. You know, um, they had Suicide Slaps, had Slap Fest out here. And then Temecula Rod Run was like a weekend show in Temecula. And then COVID shut down Rod Run. And uh, Roberto and I started talking with Will and a few other people like, heck let's just let's have our own show let's have our own lincoln thing let's you know let's call it rat fest and all lincolns and uh do it on a weekend and and see if we, what we can do with it and uh last year in the pandemic we had uh i think i think it was like 47 60s continentals show up at uh chihuahua cerveza in newport beach dude that was insane i saw some of the videos when we talked before uh, you know, you and Roberto had kind of led me, you know, told me a little bit, you know, when we recorded and then just in other conversations about uh, the the effort that you guys put into the videos. But the video last year of some of the clips, man, I was like mind blown that you could get almost 50 Lincolns that didn't break down. They were they, they made it there. <laughs> and the Raddies were on the rise, man. <laughs> uh, I, I, I said in my in my in my Jason voice on the rise. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was, we, in the pandemic, we should probably had more, but, you know, some people were stayed home a little bit, but yeah, we had, uh, everybody said they were coming, they made it, uh, and made it home. I mean, I guess, guess that's a good thing when you got a Lincoln, you get there and you get home. Um, so this year we're anticipating, you know, about the same, maybe some more people, uh, feel a little bit more comfortable getting out, but, um just the love of getting all these Lincolns together and uh, watching people drive by and wow, I can never seen this many Lincolns before in my life. You know, you got them in one location. Exactly. And for anyone that's a listener and they're, you know, we're obviously recording this and it's going to air out, you know, pretty, you know, basically the weekend of the event. So someone that's like, Hey man, this is pretty cool. I've heard about it. I've seen it. They should really make plans to come out in 2022. It's usually in August, right before school starts out there in California, right? And people should fly into, or, you know, where exactly is the event? Um, the event's in Newport Beach, Chihuahua Cerveza. The, ideally, if you're flying in, would be like to fly into John Wayne mm-hmm. Airport in Orange County or Long Beach. Um, hotels it. are, I mean, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, Costa Mesa around here, but um, 
close to me, close to all of us. And, you know, if you don't, don't have a car, you fly in, we'll pick you up, uh, show you around, take you back to the hotel, pick you up for rat fest cruise. I mean, pretty much get a chauffeur in a Lincoln, or if we can arrange it, uh, people got extras, get mm. you one to drive for the weekend. So, you know, I love the hospitality, man. It really, I really do. And if you go on YouTube, you can type in the Raddies, R A T T Y S. I always type in the Raddies Lincolns, and you're going to see uh-huh. uh, different videos um, out there. And even some of the one of the cool videos out there, it's about three and a half minutes, almost four minutes. The Raddies Fourth of July, 2020. So the cool thing is, even outside of this, you know, this Raddy weekend that you're planning in August, you guys are always getting together. It it is uh, I guess it's you know it is a it, it's it's a blessing to live where like from my house in Huntington within a, a thirty mile radius there might be thirty of us maybe more um, so it's it's easy convenient to all of a sudden be like hey let's uh, let's meet at my house we'll go cruise and have lunch or let's do this or yeah it's it's uh, I- any excuse to get together with with uh, with the family is is always good dude it's awesome and the cool thing is you know one of the the the, the, like the rat fathers we'll call them right the godfather the rat father is is jim Ayers, right and jim as i know a lot of these these old school guys are descending upon not hill valley like in, in back to the future but up in uh michigan i think right now for this big lincoln meet but the cool thing that I yeah. like about you guys' event is everybody's welcome. So you're going to see a full-blown resto mod. You're going to see a mild custom. But then you're going to have maybe a few that are bone stock, all OG, like Jim's car, which is amazing. That's a cool thing about amazing. it because you, you guys aren't just catering to, like, one genre. No. And, and that's the thing. It's like there, I know there's been – when I first, I mean, I've had mine for 14 years, and it's all original, second owner, and – I kind of got the story as things went on with like the LCOC and a few names in that group that the purist that, that, that kind of frowned on the rest of mod or the 20 inch wheels. And, and to, to us now, it's just like, you know what, you got a Lincoln just roll with who cares? I don't care if it's got missing hubcaps or <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a show car, you know, like, like Jim Ayers is, is in, in person. It's just immaculate. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, look at something like mine or these other cars that are two color fenders and headliner and interior is no good. But no, nah, you need to, you know, it, now it's to the point where I don't care if you have a Lincoln. If you're good people and you like to hang out, come out. You know, yes. we, we like to cruise and drink beer and make fun of Roberto and his mom and hang out. <laughs> yeah, Roberto's the <laughs> big gotta, homie. We got to get him on sometime, you know? I know. I was, I was hoping that maybe when, uh, Big, big, bad Tony Boland's coming out this weekend that maybe we can call in Saturday live from Rat Fest and have Roberto, I love um, it. Tony, um, Will, uh, maybe Sean, whoever else, you know, uh, uh, get a few people and have uh, Tony call in and be like, hey, I'm live from Rat Fest. And yeah. I don't know if uh, do like a uh, FaceTime live or something like that. So it'd be kind of cool to, you know. No, oh, yeah, you guys are gonna be raising hell. You guys are like the new Hell's Angels to a certain extent, right? I mean, maybe not, a, <laughs> maybe not as lit as the as the HA, right? Nah, but... Not, not, yeah, not, 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 not as lit. But it's, uh, I mean, we we go places and we have we, we always have a good time together. And it seems that people hear about it, hear about us, they come down to the next thing. Like, man, I love this, and you guys are you know cool and it's just a good feeling and it's always a good time. And, uh, the, just the word, the word spread once you experience it and, and, and the, the vibe and, and the whole atmosphere, it, it's contagious. Yeah, most definitely. And talking to rusty wall from the raddies want to just pause for a moment and say, make sure you check out steel rubber.com S T E E L E rubber.com, uh, reach out to them on their website. You can order a free catalog. And, uh, when you're dealing with these Lincolns, you can reinvest, by putting some awesome parts on them, keep them sealed up, and uh, maintain those values. Now, Rusty, you guys don't have to worry about that stuff as much out there. You know, I'm in Florida where it rains, but it's not like the rust belt, right? Down here, you got the moisture yeah. and things like that. A lot of us hopefully can keep our cars indoors, but that's one of the cool things. I mean, you say Huntington Beach, I think of Chip Foose, I think of all the BMX and skateboarding, all that cool stuff that, that kind of was right there. You were in the Mecca, but for you guys, it's such a dry climate, man. 
you, you know, you guys can pretty much, as you mentioned earlier, cruise your cars almost 12 months a year, if not. We can, there's probably maybe, maybe two weeks out of the year. If you total up these <laughs> rain days, I mean, maybe, maybe it's like less than two weeks that we, we, we'd have to like not drive it. Oh like, yeah. But for the most part, it's, oh, we call it rain down here. It's like a drizzle for five minutes and then it's done. <laughs> so. Oh um, yeah. Yeah. Our, now talk to us about the raddies on Instagram. That's the main place. If, if someone's not on Instagram, they're, they're straight missing out, but the raddies on Instagram, yeah. talk to us about that because you guys share some cool stuff. Yes. Yeah, so on Instagram, Roberto runs the raddies Instagram page and it's, um, it started out with the Lincolns, but and it's now it's like we go to the Raddies, go to the shows, these these meetups, and it's it's everything we see. It's just everything, cars, and a lot of times it's not cars. It's it's you know about the family, and so we, um, you know, we'll put pictures on there. We had um, Roberto's wife Jessica's birthday, and we had fifteen Raddies up there for a birthday party. Uh, his daughter's birthday was is coming up pretty soon, so. Um, it's just the whole thing of what we do as a family. And it's not just California here. It's people all over, all over the United States, all over some people in Australia that they'll post up. It's just a, you got to check it out. If you're on Instagram, check out the raddies. Yeah, the it's just a, raddies, a little, little, raddies. little spelled wrong. Cause we are wrong. Yeah. I like um, it, man. <laughs> it's just the inside of the, you know, what, what, what we're about, what we do. We just like to cruise and have a good time. Yeah, the Raddies this weekend, August, it's going down in Cali, Newport Beach. You can look it up uh, if you, you know, let's say you're not in the area, you heard this, not in time to make it. You know, make plans next August. It's going to be killer. I got to ask you about this. I thought this was really cool. When I go through the Raddies Instagram, I see some pretty cool stuff, um, some photos that are just really curated nicely and reshared. But talk to us about Viva Las Raddies. 2021 dude because when i tap on that hashtag dude. i see some cool stuff being how did that idea come about we we had talked to you know we, we did pismo in 2020 we, a bunch of us drove to pismo and it was like a, a th- it should have been a three-hour drive but stop and get gas and have a beer and this it was like a five-hour drive and then after that we're like dude we should go to vegas drive to, <laughs> how cool that to be drive to vegas and then cruise the lincoln's down the vegas strip and we started talking and people were like, I'll go, I'll go. And I'm like, dude, are we going to make it? You know, it was like kind of a joke. Um, and we had like 15 cars, Continentals, drive to Vegas and cruise the strip. And it was people out of nowhere, like in the middle of the street. Well, look at that Lincoln Continental. And then they'd walk by and like, oh, crap, there's like like 15 of them. And we cruise the strip and you see flashes, like people just taking pictures and videos. And we'd stop at lights and people were talking, yelling, you know and other cars honking horns and it, it was a bucket list checkoff for sure yeah for sure man and i want to go out to one of those too now who was the you know you know the movie the hangover who was the stew right remember ed helms uh man he was stew dude he was the one with the broken tooth who was the stew uh, man did you guys just get crazy man in, in vegas or did you guys you know keep it a little tight no we don't <laughs> no it's it's never t- that would be evan uh, Evan Myatt, he's a, uh, he is, he is one of a kind. He is like, hundred percent energy jokes. I mean, I swear by the pool on Saturday at the Venetian, I was real close to peeing my pants at some of the stuff he was saying. Like, it was, it, it was just, yeah. Evan, Evan is that guy. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. If you scroll yeah. through their Instagram, uh, you'll see some of the posts. I love the videos. Um, what I also like is you can tap on a couple hashtags, of course, LOS Raddies, Los Raddies. There's a ton of uh-huh. those. And then, as I had mentioned, the Viva Las, uh, um, like kind of Viva Las, Las Vegas. Yeah, the the Viva Las Raddies and stuff like that. It's mm-hmm. curated really well. The Los Raddies, LOS Raddies, that one's got some good some good fo- um, photos on it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, we're trying to keep it to like a – a few hashtags just to keep it. But sometimes, you know, you want to try to expand and try to maybe get a broader audience or a broader recognition, more uh, exposure. So it's kind of a, do we keep it simple or do we expand out? 
to expand yep. out. So we're, we're kind of trying to expand out a little bit just to kind of, you know, keep it fresh and try to keep it, keep it going. Yeah. And one of the cars that came up when I was uh, looking at LOS Raddies, Los Raddies, was uh, my boy John Lyman from Stinkin' Lincoln. And he's got that green uh-huh. 64 I love. I was just mm-hmm. up there. And, of course, you know, you don't have to look far and you'll see the Raddies hat there. You know, he's holding it down. He might be posted in yep. all the Lincoln groups, but I think deep down, you know, he's part of the gang, man. He, he is. Uh, he reached out a, in a, a few years back, and he's like, how do I get it? I said, say no more. Say no more. I got you. <laughs> I, I sent him a, a hat, a couple shirts, uh, a couple stickers. Um, and it's just cool when people reach out like that, like John Lyman and, and you and Tony and, hey, I saw that shirt, man. That's, you know, it's a cool, you know, giving, giving credit where credit's due. Yeah, and then, man. you know, hold on, I, I got your address. And all of a sudden, you know, a bag shows up. And you're like, no way, I got a shirt. I got, And then you see the product placement, like the, the, the famous thing that you always, which I love to see on your yeah. post is the koozie, the koozie. I mean, that's <laughs> kind of where it all started, where it is, you see, the, and it's not a big advertisement, but you look closely like, wait, We're is that, is that? Is that the koozie? Is that, is that is that the Roberto broke down koozie? Oh yeah, this is you know it, it's such a cool, it's such a good feeling when you see people on the other side of the states, other side of the country, have something and and actually show it or wear it like with pride, like God, this is you know this is good. Not only it's a good it. joke, it's fun. It's these are good people, and this is how we we we, we support each other. Yeah, for sure. And when we went to Made a Steel show, which is here in Dover, about forty five minutes from my house, last year it was pushed out because of the pandemic but of course boss Bolin rolled through and uh he was wearing the ratty shirt so we took one of our severed ties photos right because that's the that the truck and car club we're in uh but uh-huh. of course you know we rep the ratties we rep lincoln attic death row lincoln's which is tony's deal um you know he had the shirt on and he was like oh roberto and you know they're in rusty they're not going to believe it and i was like yeah man i said keep it on the low for a couple days and um, you know, of course, then it, it went to print and it was pretty cool. But the one thing I wanted to mention too, looking at hashtags, there's a guy named Devin Hitchens and he did this really cool drawing that you guys had shared, man. I would almost dude. like to buy a print of that. So you got the low rider, you got hey. the rod and then dude, you got the freaking slab in there. Hey, you can. So Devin, this kid is unbelievable. I mean, this kid is such raw talent almost like he doesn't know what he has because he's so humble and it's like but to watch this kid draw so you can you can hit him up i mean he i'll call him like he'll show up to rat fest and people see him like he he just oh devin's here and then they try to get him devin can you draw my car <laughs> and he'll draw your car like in two hours he'll sit there with his chair drinks really? ice, drinks water or tea and he'll sit there with pastel chalk and and color pencils and he'll draw the car right there yeah, and dude it, it's crazy but then you'll say hey um i know you can't take it but he'll take pictures of your car different angles and then he'll draw it home and then mail it to you so if you if you got a picture of of your car and you said like at this this angle you could email it to him say hey here's my name address um you can venmo paypal him and he'll draw it and he'll ship it to you and his work is untouched but yeah it's it, pretty it cool is. tell him to get some prints going really? you know i a few years ago uh pinstripe chris he has grown by leaps and bounds i mean he's got a huge uh instagram account um and he had he did a a piece i think it was a 64 I'm trying to remember i think it was a 64 lincoln and i was like man i want one of those uh-huh. and he goes yeah I, I guess i should make some prints i was like De- definitely and um you know there's some cool stuff you know many of us we we love our lincoln so you know, naturally, we're yeah. we're always looking for cool stuff. So uh, it's officially called Rat Fest, right? Ratty Ratty Fest. Correct. Yeah, Rat Rat Fest. Rat Fest, and it's going down Newport Beach. What do you guys have in store? You know, you may have maybe it's not all ironed out yet, but between now, right? This weekend's going to go down. Everyone can check the hashtags we talked about. The Ratties is yeah. the main one, but anything else in store between now and like end the year? Any more cruises and stuff? Yeah, we're heading to we got Ratfest this weekend at Chihuahua, Cerveza, and Newport Beach. And then September, we kind of lay low because we got kids, a couple of kids' birthdays. Um, Roberto's daughter's birthday, um, my one of my daughter's birthday. So some few things, kids going back to school. Then we head up to Pismo um, October 
the second uh, second or third week of October, we're heading we're driving up to Pismo, uh, staying at the inn right there at the Pismo Pier. Um, Friday and Saturday night, a couple breweries and a, a winery uh, to cruise up there. So it'd be a nice little drive to kind of finish off the year. Um, and that's uh, Pismo 2021 on that hashtag that we're starting to um, starting to, to advertise on. Awesome, dude. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. It looks like I'll be able to make SEMA this year, and um, it, it looks like also uh, Labor Day weekend I'll be over in Sacramento uh, helping street trucks with some stuff. Now, now, how far is that from you? Well, SEMA is in Vegas is only like – it'd be like a four-hour drive. I mean, it's, that's not even a bad yeah, deal. So if you're – I bad. mean, we can come out – and I got some friends that live in Vegas, so I got a place to stay. So if, yeah, well, we can maybe do a road trip, get a few of us and head that way. Yeah, um, heck yeah. It's the first week in November. And, you know, fingers crossed okay. right now, I mean, we've no, we haven't heard any rumblings of, you know, crazy changes or anything like that. Obviously, last year was kind yeah. of unprecedented, but, you know, looking forward to it now. It's, you know, I, a lot of guys go every single year and I, ha- you know, I haven't had that opportunity uh, this will be probably, I think, my fourth year going, and it's always fun. But I always, uh, one of the years I went, 2015, 2016, there were about, f- there were there were a good handful of Lincolns there, which was kind of cool. You know, DVS, my boy Jeff over at DeviousCustoms.com, he had built one, uh-huh. and, you know, there were there was just maybe two, I forget. But, you know, there were about four or five out there. But, um, yeah, man, um, you know, just to kind of wrap up here, you know, um, a lot going on for you guys. I love the videos, dude. You guys do a great job, the animations as well. But uh, any shout-outs? I know Roberto's your homie, but what other shout-outs you want to give? Um, oh, man. Let's see. You always put me on the spot. I hate when you do this. <laughs> well, I know Roberto's um, one, and then Roberto's, you know, the koozies. I mean, that's definitely one. Yeah, that that's good. Um, Dude, I want to shout-out you, brother. Dude, you, you always coming through with the good stuff and always the shout-outs and always – uh, respectful and always, you know, keeping everybody in point and, and up to date. And I want to shout out to you and Lincoln Attic, uh, Tony Boss Boland for just being him. <laughs> um, dude, just I want to shout out to everybody to that keeps us going, that that appreciates it and looks at it and and likes the photos and and uh, just all the feedback, dude. It's, I want to shout out to everybody. Yeah, I mean, hundred percent. And my little parting words would be like, look. You know, there's different, you know, just like in the truck scene. I've been, our, our truck club's been around since 92. I've been in the club since late 90s, give or take a little over 20 years. In the Lincoln stuff, obviously, there's different groups. There's different, you know, clubs, crews, whatever you want to call them. So, you know, to yeah. me, there, you know, there's power in numbers. And the cool thing is, it doesn't matter what stickers on your vehicle, you know, this and that. It's like, man, I love when somebody goes, yo, jump in the ride. Let's go cruise. Let's do something. And what you guys are doing, yep. arguably to me, is some of the coolest stuff in the nation. I know John Cashman has tipped his cap uh, to you guys and saying, dude, what you're doing is awesome. And um, I, I can't yeah. thank you enough, dude. The Raddies are definitely on the rise. And I think Tony Boss Bolin <laughs> would, uh, he would uh, approve that message. <laughs> well, 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 hopefully we'll have a Tony Boss, Tony Boss Bolin sighting this weekend. I hear. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we'll get a little FaceTime video clip of uh, him actually saying it live and in person, which yeah. would be a, a, a nice one. Yeah, he's gonna say, "Yo, Valor took the whole deal." Like, tell him, "Yeah, man, he he took he took down the empire, the Onda Rise Empire." But <laughs> yeah, but but much love and respect to you guys again. Check out the Raddies, R A T T Y S, on Instagram. The cool videos, the animations, the photos, really the camaraderie between you and the other crews, and and all the guys and ladies that come out. I know there's some ladies doing the damn thing. So. Dude, Rusty, our yes. dub, man, West Side. Hey, you know, you better JB, just... what's up, dude? <laughs> my, my only ask is put some Dove Shack on while you're cruising. You know what I mean? Hey, uh, that you know what? I'm gonna tell Roberta that uh, when we do the video for Rat Fest, I'm gonna do the Dove Shack or do some. Uh, I, I, I'll, yeah, Dove it's gonna be. Uh, I'll make it. I'll, I'll put a special thing on the radio when I got Tony in the backseat cruising. Yeah, brother, I know, man. Get that, get that iPhone or that iPod ready, that that Android, whatever you got, and. And play some good music, but do be safe, right? Make sure everyone gets yep. there. Anyone breaks down, you know, uh, you just it's one call away from AAA. But you know, I wish you guys all the bu- all the best. No breakdowns, of course. I appreciate I appreciate all the love, Jason. You take care, and uh, we'll see each other soon. Maybe uh, let's plan Vegas. All, see you, always appreciate you, R Dub. Take care, brother. All right, Raddies and Lincoln Attic on the rise. We out here. <laughs> 
Peace.